we've got a bit of transfer news. So one of our team leaders, uh, Timothy Krivostiak, has been playing well. He's got 14 starts, six goals, five assists, four, a 4XG, and a 748 rating. He's in his prime. He's 29 years old. He'll be 30 soon. He's valued at $15.75 million, and we have agreed to sell him for a $33 million fee, and we'll get another $4.3 million after, league, after 50 league appearances. So we could get $37 million for a $15 million guy. Uh, you know, I think that would be prudent to pop that much into the bank and really boost us up. Taking a look at him, he, now he is one of our three team leaders. He plays on the right side. And if we look at the team depth chart, oh, by the way, this, this is part of the skin with the new uh, the new Renzi skin that I use. Uh, just downloaded it. Uh, so this is the new, uh, the new layout. I do kind of like that. Uh, but taking a look, Kravostiak was our best winger. But Philip Camps, I really like him. Fidrich, they're they're not big letoffs there, and I think this could be the move to boost our bank balance, but also get our spending down because he is making a hundred and six thousand a month. So I think that helps us out immensely. So that has happened. So and we've re-signed our assistant coach. Uh, so this is the guy I'm going to stick with uh, throughout my save if I can. Uh, we will try to do that, and I need to make a note of that. But uh, anyway, that's the transfer bit that we've got so far. If anything else happens, you'll be the second one to know. All right, we're back with some more transfer news. Uh, first off. You can see that, but let's drop over here. And we have also sold Luca Susak, and he goes off to China for eight million, possibly ten point five million. He hadn't played a lot for us. I mean, he's a decent enough striker, but he's again, he's twenty nine, and uh, we paid one point six for him. And he had played in eight matches, seven off the bench, one goal. So really hadn't done anything to impress me. And so I said, let me spend some of this money. And uh, this is the guy I signed, Dwight Deleka. Let's see. It's Fady Chelik. So if my, if my grammar is correct, if what I've been told, this little squiggly line is a CH sound, ch. So that should be Delecha. Delecha. I think that's right. Dwight Delecha. And um, so we've bought him $3.1 million. Fans don't really care, mostly because he's had a barren spell in front of goal. But two and a half star current, three and a half star potential. Uh, potential leading Premier League striker. So I'm okay. Signs for $39,000 a month. Must be almost sunrise. Yeah, it's 6.30. Yay. I've been up since 2.30. Uh, but anyway, we've signed him. Taking a look at him. And again, this, this format, if you're asking, it's because of the, new, the Renzi skin that I just downloaded today. Uh, he pulls the number 40. He pulled that himself. I had nothing to do with it. But uh, very, very physical. Uh, strength is a little lacking. He's 5'11", 156 pounds. But he's very pacey, acceleration, agility, uh, composure, decision-making. I'd like concentration to be a little higher, but yeah, off the ball, work rate's there, technique. He can head the ball decently. First touch is really good, and he's got really strong finishing. Now, I I know he hasn't scored a lot. Uh, let's see. This year, he's got one goal in 14 starts. He's really struggled uh, with NEC over in the Arita VC. 
but he had nine in 20, nine in 15 starts last year. So maybe a change of scenery will do him some good. And he had seven uh, with Almir City in 24 the year before. So he's got goals in him. We'll see if we can help him find them. Hopefully the fans are wrong. They will be a little disappointed, and that'll knock me a little bit. But, uh, hey, what are you going to do? All right, we'll be back with any more news. Another bit of transfer news has cropped up, and being that this is a Marcelo Bielsa-inspired journeyman, this is in the mold of Bielsa signing a young player for the academy. 18-year-old uh, Arpad Z Zalaji, maybe, maybe. Uh, we pay $650,000 for him, uh, and he will be joining us very soon. Taking a look, uh, he is with uh, Viterol in Romania. Came up through uh, Cluj's system. Three goals and three assists in 12 matches for Vitriol, uh, Vitoral. I'm sorry, in League 1 or League 1. And a uh, pretty skilled little player. I don't have the entire picture. He is a winger, but very pacey. Passing could be, is off the chart, 15 to 20. And very solid first touch. I always assume when I've got a split, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So I'm assuming around a 14 first touch and a 17 or 18 passing probably around a 14 or 15 pace and a 14, 15 acceleration. And he's only 18 years old. He's got room to grow. I think he's going to be a good fit. Now, not knowing his stamina or work rate, that could put me off. But I think you look at players like this that have five-star potential and you hope that they can develop and you hope that those numbers are in line with some of the other numbers that you're seeing. If they're not, he won't make the squad because he won't have the attributes that Bielsa would demand that I'm going to at least be very, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to lean towards. Uh, now, he may still be good enough that I will play the shit out of him, but... Uh, anyway, there's a new signing that's going to go into our academy. And you can see we got him for 11000 a month. Very, very affordable. Taking a look at finances, we're up to $54.8 million with the recent uh, income. thirty, Almost $40 million this month. And even with the players we've signed, only $14 million going out so far. Anything else happens, you know what will happen. More transfer news coming in. We have signed 19-year-old attacking midfielder Mike Vandenberg for $2.5 million. Get a B-minus grade from the fans. Two-and-a-half star current, five-star potential. Uh, so lots of room. He's on an intensive language course. Taking a look at him, he can play central mid, and he can play on the left wing. Very, very pacey in acceleration. Work rate, stamina are there. Passing, technique, first touch, everything solid, double digits. Looks like a really stellar kid that is going to be able to play well. He's only gotten a you know a couple of matches, uh, but they've been at the top level in the Netherlands with Gron Groningen. So uh, we pick him up for $2.5 million. And he will be joining us right away. Uh, not sure exactly where he's going to fit in uh, on that attacking wing. Right now, he's down the pecking order a little bit, but not too far. And potential-wise, he's right up there. So glad to get him there. We're coming up uh, the end of the month. So not sure what we'll do move-wise. We've got a couple of guys that we've accepted some offers on, just minor housekeeping uh, stuff to get out a few deadweight players. We'll see what happens with that. So uh, if nothing big happens, we'll just come back for the next match, and we might be able to sneak that in this episode. Otherwise, I'll just make this a transfer special. We still have a month to go, so we'll see what happens.
a bit of outgoing news. This is one of those housekeeping things we just talked about. Drago Siskovic Yakapak goes off to Chud Chudim for 1.5 million and Slavin Balupo, Loki Doki fame there, uh, gets a little bit of that fee. And so he has left 28 years old, just was down the pecking order. Uh, hadn't played we had signed him on a free uh earlier this year so hey we made a million and a half dollars on him for half a year of uh servitude so not a bad bit of business there i suppose just uh maybe a wasted signing but no harm no foul we have brought in a scottish player 20 year old winger michael robinson 1.9 million dollars three and a half star current four and a half star potential uh we signed him end of contract so he would have joined us in july but went ahead and made the 1.9 million dollar offer to buy him immediately taking a look at him uh he's kind of got the dyed blonde hair thing going on uh, this is all natural, by the way, if you wanted to know. Uh, but he can play striker with decent finishing. He can also move out to the wing. Uh, very pacey. Stamina is above average. Really quick first step. Uh, Composure is good. Decision making, determination, flair, work rate are all outstanding. Teamwork is outstanding. Really good technique, passing ability. First touch, dribbling, crossing. Very good crosser of the ball. Only 20 years old, I think he's going to be in contention for that starting job. Uh, he's been over in the MLS with Portland, two goals and six appearances, Nashville, two and 26. But uh, he came up in the Burnley system before going over to Nashville and the MLS, other MLS clubs on loan. So this will be his first step up back into Europe and getting into a side. And if we take a look, they basically tell me he's going to be better than Tarashenko currently and upside. Now, he is he is one-footed, but and it's right-footed. So, you know, I think we might, you know, we could retrain him on the right side, but he could play an inside or an inverted uh, winger forward over on that left side if we wanted him to. And we might have another signing coming right up, so let me hold on to check that. Well, we did have the, uh, we are having the draw for the second knockout round today, so uh, you can look at the list of teams down here, and we'll scroll down through that. And there you see, we're, we're at the very bottom, but uh, let's see where we go. So, Denmark and Portugal, Hungary, and Russia, CSK Moscow, Czechoslovakia, and the Ukraine, Inglitz Petrov, Ajax, glad we didn't get that one, I think. And there we go. So Ludo Goretz from Bulgaria. Not sure how good they are. Let's take a look. Uh, Bulgarian First League. Ah, they're de defending champions. So might not be pushovers and we were drawn as the road team and it is a two-leg event so that's actually good kind of like to play the away leg first so uh, anyway we'll take care of that that does take place in March which evidently changes up our training a little bit uh, that's right we do come back in March that's only in a couple of days so that's gonna be what we come back for We'll come back for the uh, second knockout round. And uh, I guess what we'll do is maybe we'll try to knock, because we also have the cup quarterfinal. I'm just kind of thinking out the side of my head right now. Oh, here's the other signing that we were looking at. We get a B minus grade. It's Zombor Paul. And I think that's Paul with the little hyphen thingamajigger up there. So he's 19 years old. He is a goalkeeper, two and a half star current, four and a half star potential. Very, very good command of area, communication, physicals are real good. Not the strongest, but he's only 19. 
and uh, really good reflexes. One on ones are solid. First touch is the only thing he really lacks. So he'd probably be more of a traditional defensive goalkeeper. But some good skills, good upside. You know we're going to be getting rid of the 33-year-old vet season's in probably. I think his contract's up, and we would need somebody for next year. So I think that's going to be it for transfers. I'm not expecting anything else. So if we take a quick look, there's our transfers, the five guys that we moved out, two of them on loan. Uh, Kravostiak for $37 million, Susak for 10 and a half, and Sus Susovic Jakopak for one and a half. And then the group of people we're bringing in, uh, Makarenko, 3.3, Yarmolenko, 5 million, Delecha, 3.1, uh, Zalaji, or 650,000. Vandenberg 2.5 million, Robinson 1.9, and Paul 650,000. 62 million out, 25 million in. So we actually had a very good net spend this year. A uh, little bit of a loss just due to the outgoing, but we are still sitting just under $49 million, which saw us raise our bank balance, which is really good. By the way, can we can we improve our training facilities? Let's see what they have to say about that. I kind of like the way they do that. So you notify them you'd like to talk, and then they let you know. All right, so please that we will upgrade $2.5 million. Should be, it will begin at the end of the season and will be completed by October 18th of this year. So that's good. That's awesome. So we will should have state of the art on both sides. That's good. Anything else that we want? Excellent youth recruitment. Can we make a board request for that? No. Doesn't look like it. I don't know how you. I don't know how you control that. Uh, by the way, when is my contract up? We got a two-year deal, right? Fifty-two. It expires next year. Bielsa wouldn't worry about a contract. He would wait for them to approach him. I'm going to kind of take the same process, and yeah. So I'm not going to ask for a new contract. Let's go ahead and end this episode here because we are still trying to keep the episode shorter for you guys. So we'll just call this the transfer special episode. We will be back next episode. I think what we're going to do is I'll play the second, the, the away leg off camera. Then we'll do the home leg on camera. And then we'll do the cup final so we'll have two episodes in quick succession, and then we'll probably come back with you know either more cups or two league matches, depending on if we get through or get knocked out. So that's how we're going to game plan it for right now. All subject to change, of course. Hit that like button, subscribe, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Bye.